So I've got the keys to the Honda Elevate. This is their new mid-size SUV. And uh, while the world premiere has already been done, uh, I have it out here for a test drive in Udaipur. And I'm gonna be telling you all about it in this uh, walk around video where I'll show you some of the features, talk about the engine, talk about what it's like, and of course, key design elements. So from the get-go, you can see that it is uh, a vehicle that sits in that, uh, you know, growing mid-size segment. So uh, it is getting a, to be a crowded space. We've already got uh, the Kia Seltos, we've got the Hyundai Creta, we've got the Kushak from Skoda, the Tygon from Volkswagen, uh, you've got the High Rider from Toyota, the Grand Vitara, uh, you've got the C3 Aircross coming out shortly, and uh, to a large extent, you've also got uh, the MG Aster, uh, which is also uh, a part of this segment. So Honda is joining a segment that is very popular with buyers, and it is that uh, entire range from 11 lakhs to 20 lakhs sort of range. You know that there are other manufacturers that flirt with this uh, segment as well. Like uh, Mahindra has the Scorpio NZ6, which is also priced uh, similarly. Obviously, it's a size bigger, but uh, nevertheless, on a price front, it is competition uh, to this. But, uh, you know, having said that, uh, as a product, I think uh, Honda's done a great job here in terms of design. You've got a vehicle that follows their global design language. Uh, Honda says that this is inspired by the urban freestyler look. It's about an outdoorsy feel and uh, it shows in their design language. So you've got a nice squared off front end. You've got this uh, rather beautiful looking uh, bonnet, which is uh, very reminiscent, you know, when you look at it from this angle over here of the Honda Pilot, uh, which is their slightly larger SUV. And uh, great attention to detail, you know, the lights, uh, they look absolutely stunning. You've got this nice blacked out grille, which uh, looks great. Enough chrome running along the top. Uh, to uh, give that addition to uh, what us Indian car buyers seem to love a lot. We like our chrome and I think Honda has done it rather tastefully uh, on the Elevate. Uh, the placement of the front uh, fog lamps is rather neat and uh, you know it's well integrated into the large uh, bumper. So you've got uh, that done uh, extremely well. And uh, I think the look that you get when you see it head on is a vehicle that has a rather imposing young sporty presence and uh, that should work very well for Honda uh, going forward. Uh, like I said, it is very squared off, and just to give you another angle, you, know, you can view it from here. So, uh, nicely done. And as you move along the side, you can see that uh, they've played with a nice strong shoulder line, uh, which is right here. You know, uh, gives it a bit of character, brings out that sturdiness and that SUV appeal that uh, you want in a vehicle from this segment. Uh, it rides on 17-inch uh, alloys and uh, the tire size is 215-55R17 and uh, you can see that these are your standard Honda alloys which again gel well with the vehicle. I think it uh, gives the vehicle a nice uh, look over there. Uh, again, you have your side cladding, something that uh, is very popular with SUVs and helps bring out that look. And even around, uh, even down here, you've got this uh, sill that looks uh, very neatly done. I like it that they didn't go with an all blacked out finish. You know, they kept the body color happening here and they just gave this character line uh, to bring out uh, the side uh, elements a bit more. The ORVMs have uh, integrated uh, turn signals. So you can see them right over here. And uh, you've also got like I said earlier, you've got your chrome uh, that has been done very tastefully. So you've got it along the window line and as well as on the door handles. Uh, Honda is giving the Elevate a shark fin antenna. Uh, neat looking roof rails. And uh, you must have already noticed that it comes with this uh, blacked out roof, which again uh, adds to its uh, character. You know, view it from the back. I think the Elevate again has a very striking sort of uh, stance. It looks very sporty, looks very young. And uh, Honda's played around with the light design to give the rear a lot of character. So, you know, you look at it uh, head on, you can see that uh, a lot has been done over here. You've got the nice uh, integrated lights. The way they light up is very interesting. Uh, you know, it's running LEDs uh, both up front and at the back. 
So these are elements that uh, definitely work really well for the Elevate. And down here, uh, again, the bumper has been done quite well. It's not your uh, sporty sort of like a diffuser sort of look, but uh, it is well integrated, looks neat and sort of uh, fits the package. Moving on to the cabin, uh, it is your typical Honda setup. So uh, don't mind the beep so much, uh, but uh, you can see that uh, Honda's taken their time to get everything just right. The ergonomics are fantastic. The seats are extremely comfortable, well contoured for uh, back support and uh, under thigh support. So you've got a very good looking cabin all round and the space is actually something that's really worthy of mention. Uh, I'm just going to show you the rear seat also real quick. So you can see that leg space is available in abundance. Uh, great headroom too and again really well contoured seats at the rear and you also get your isofix for uh, the child seat anchorage which is part of their safety package so that's again a good touch. While on the topic of space uh, the Honda Elevate does come with a massive boot which is uh, 458 liters and I think that that makes it the largest in the segment so uh, it was Honda that came up with this man maximum machine minimum concept back in the day and I think that that still carries over where they're able to package their vehicle to ensure that you get an abundance of space uh, you know in the rear up front in the boot and uh, keep everything really nice and comfortable but now getting to the features of the Elevate so to start with I'm just going to fire up the engine and uh, you got a nice start stop button hidden back there uh, right so uh, coming to the features that uh, you get with the Elevate you've got steering mounted controls and uh, you might have noticed uh, some buttons over here. That's part of their advanced safety package, which I will get to in a bit. But uh, as you can see, you've got cruise control, you've got your, uh, you know, your answering calls, uh, your voice uh, uh, control over there. You've got uh, your volume controls, source and track. So that's for you to scroll through on the neat large uh, touchscreen. The flickering is because of my uh, camera frame rate is not because there's anything wrong with the screen but uh, you can see that uh, it's a very neat and well integrated uh, large 10.25 inch uh, uh, touchscreen interface divided into two screens so uh, you can actually toggle around and play around with a host of these features and uh, you got your uh, connectivity in fact uh, the Elevate comes with both uh, wireless and wired uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So you've got options for both, which I think is something that's very neat because not everybody uh, is running around with the cables and not everybody has phones that, you know, uh, really do the entire wired, wireless bit. So, uh, you know, keeping that in mind, I think that that's a very nice thought. The display is your typical Honda display. And uh, you can see we have a full tank of gas, uh, which we will be uh, running through in due time. But, uh, very uh, neat, very easy to read, and I think that they've done a decent job over there. You've got a little bit of a driver information display in the center, so with your digital readouts and uh, a little bit of driver information for you uh, over there. Uh, Honda is offering the Elevate with, uh, you know, a nice uh, uh, air conditioning system. Uh, it's very effective. Uh, the fit and finish that you see in the cabin is outstanding. I think. This entire leather treatment that you see running through and through really gives it a premium upmarket feel. And even on the dash, you've got this, uh, you know, uh, wood look insert to again give you that premiumness. Looks absolutely stunning. And I think uh, it is also in some ways a little reminiscent of uh, uh, the quality that we've now associated with Honda thanks to the Honda City. So for anybody uh, looking at getting the Elevate is going to be really happy that it carries over with this uh, quality level. On the door over here, you've got your window controls and your uh, ORBM uh, adjustment buttons. So that's again, very neatly done. Doesn't hamper with your leg when you're driving. So even if I have my leg on the accelerator, you can see that it's not hampering with the, the door, which is again, a boon for tall drivers especially. And uh, 
Honda has given some storage over here. You've got a wireless uh, charging, uh, uh, you know, bed over here to keep your phone and let that charge. A 12 volt power outlet, and of course your USB connect. Uh, I don't see a USB Type C, which would have been uh, nice to have, but uh, well, at least you have uh, the connections over here. Uh, cup holders, uh, neat storage space in the doors. You know you can fit your water bottles in there. A nice large glove box as you can see you've got an entire box this big that just fits right in so very neatly done uh, moving on uh, as far as features are concerned uh, like I said you know you've got your connectivity sorted you've got a uh, Honda connect which you can you know pair with your smartwatch and then you get a lot of access to uh, you know different information you've got your geofencing you've got vehicle alerts You've got all of that that you can uh, also do uh, through the app. But uh, coming back to what I had mentioned over here and why this is part of uh, Honda's uh, safety package. So uh, Honda is offering the Elevate with the Honda Sensing, which is essentially uh, their advanced safety package. And it measures up to uh, ADAS level 2 uh, features. So unlike uh, other cars that use... Uh, cameras and radars uh, what Honda has is up front they have a single wide angle camera which is obviously hidden and uh, this has uh, it can see far and wide and uh, this allows uh, the car to do your uh, lane keep assist lane departure warning uh, your collision uh, mitigation so it does all of that and you also get uh, auto uh, adjustable uh, headlights so if you're on high beam and there's a car coming at you, it will automatically drop them to low beam and uh, you know go back to high beam when the way is clear. So that is something that you do get uh, with the Elevate, which is also a very neat uh, touch. And uh, yeah, like I said, you know, safety is something that Honda is taking very seriously. And uh, from a build standpoint, uh, Honda has crash tested the Elevate uh, according to global standards and. Uh, uh, what they told us in the presentation was that it has actually been tested at a level that is higher than the current safety norms. So uh, when it does go through a crash test rating, uh, you can expect the Elevate to uh, pass through with the flying colors and give you, uh, you know, a nice safe vehicle that yeah, you can be proud of. Now, uh, well, I have uh, dabbled on about uh, the cabin and uh, the features and safety. Uh, Honda is offering the Elevate with uh, a CVT transmission and there is also a um, six-speed uh, manual transmission uh, on offer. And, uh, but uh, as far as uh, the engine goes, I'm just going to show that to you. Uh, there's only one engine option. So the tried and tested unit that you do get is the 1.5 liter IVTEC uh, unit that delivers 121 PS of power and 145 uh, newton meters of torque. This is the engine that you get with both the manual and the CVT uh, transmission options. And uh, it is also the same engine that does duty in the Honda City. So we all know just how well it performs. And Honda's uh, VTEC technology is legendary. So uh, you can expect it to be uh, powerful enough and frugal at the same time. So uh, that's it about the engine. And uh, I think I've covered pretty much all the big talk points over here. We've spoken about uh, safety, covered the elements of uh, design, showed you the interiors, and uh, of course, uh, dabbled on about the performance. Uh, but, uh, you know, from a driving standpoint, uh, what Honda has done is uh, they've actually packaged uh, the Elevate really nice. So once you are back inside and you're actually driving around, uh, it is a very quiet cabin. The NVS levels are great and it feels absolutely brilliant to drive. I think Honda has done a fantastic job in the way that they've set up the suspension and uh, given you a vehicle that's comfortable, feels luxurious and is also very effortless uh, to move around. Uh, handling is again on point for an SUV of this category. And uh, you know, while driving around, the one thing that I really liked was this view. So uh, what you get to see is the bonnet looks uh, it runs nice and flat in front of you. So it makes you feel like you're driving something bigger 
than what you are actually seated in. And I think that that's a nice, uh, you know, quintessential SUV touch. And you can also see the character lines. So it feels special being behind the wheel. And you do get this uh, stunning sort of bonnet uh, flowing out in front of you, which is uh, something that I thought I ought to mention, uh, you know, when you're experiencing the drive. Uh, the steering feels great. I think steering input, all of that has been well thought through. And you've got a vehicle that just sort of uh, tick marks uh, all the right boxes and gives you that uh, exceptional uh, drive feel uh, that you would expect from a vehicle in this category. So on that note, uh, we come to, you know, where does the Elevate uh, truly sit? Uh, when I started this video, I did mention a lot of the competition. And like I said, it is a very crowded space. So, uh, you know, Honda will have to uh, really play their cards right because it is a cutthroat market at the end of the day. And uh, while as a product it is refined and it has a lot going for it, you know, there is uh, enough choice out there for the customer to uh, look at other uh, vehicles as well. So to truly, you know, get the game started and sort of uh, push the envelope here a bit, uh, you could uh, expect Honda to do something about the pricing. And in my books, I would think that this would actually have to be priced extremely aggressively. And uh, you would suddenly find that it's flying off the shelves. So uh, if I had it on my wish list, I would say that the Elevate should uh, top out at about uh, a 15 lakh rupee, uh, you know, ex showroom price for the top end uh, version. And uh, that would be exceptional value for money. And you'd be getting a Honda uh, product at that price point which would be absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed on that. Uh, prices will be revealed, I believe, uh, all the way down the line in September. And uh, that's when this car will eventually hit showrooms as well. And uh, let's wait and watch on that one. But uh, as a product, I think uh, Honda has jumped in the game. I know that they're not the first uh, people to step into this category, but uh, they have a product that uh, looks like it will deliver. It feels refined. The comfort is uh, definitely one of its uh, really strong plus points, the way it's been packaged. And, uh, you know, they've tick marked all the major uh, elements in terms of uh, features as well. So, you know, there's gonna be a lot of argument. Yeah, you get this with competitor A, you get this with competition B, but uh, at the end of the day, when you look at it, you know, as a product sitting in this segment, I think the Elevate does have a lot going for it. Well, on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, the walk around of the Elevate. Uh, do like, share and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get uh, regular notifications of when we put up our latest videos. And uh, we do look at bringing more uh, automotive content out for you. Uh, we've got interesting segments uh, that we do uh, apart from our reviews. So do feel free to check out uh, our playlists as well.